Hello guys, this is Rydon Academia and today we'll be looking at the gradient of a straight line, okay? But you can just call it the gradient. Now our gradient simply means the rate of change in our y axis and in our x axis. Now when we have, let's assume we have a slope, this is our x and our y, right? This is our positive axis for both x and y. And then we have at a point, point A, and point B. Okay? Now our gradient simply means the rate of change. It tries to measure the rate of change in our x and y axis. Okay? Like the rate of change from point A to point B. Alright? So that's what our gradient talks about. So I will be teaching all gradient in two aspects. The first aspect is the gradient of a straight line. Okay? The gradient of a straight line function. And the second aspect is the gradient of two given points. Okay, this is what we'll be doing on that gradient. We should be looking at these two aspects. How we can get gradients from a straight line and how we can get gradients giving two points. Okay? And in the third aspect I'll be showing us is how we can also derive a straight line equation from our gradient as well. How we can use our straight line to arrive at our straight line function. Okay? Now let me quickly move to the first aspect, like I said, gradient measures rate of change. So when we are giving a straight line function, let me quickly define that. A straight line function has to do with an equation x and y, where the highest power of x is 1. The highest power of x is 1. Something like this, we can have 5y plus 3x is equal to 15. This is a straight line function. The highest power of x and y is 1. Okay, now how do we determine the gradient of a straight line function? Now, if the gradient of a straight line function is simply the coefficient of our x when our y is subject of the formula. Please, the coefficient of your x when y has been made subject of the formula. Now, from this equation, how do we make y subject of the formula? We try to make y stand alone. So we divide all through by the coefficient of y, which is 5, okay? So we're dividing all through by 5, divide by 5, divide by 5. We'll be left with y plus 3 over 5x is equal to 15 over 5 is 3, right? Okay, now like I said, the gradient is the coefficient of our x when y is subject of the formula. Now, why means subject of the formula? Meaning it has to be alone, okay? That means we have to take x to the other side for y to stand alone. And for us to take x, since this is a plus and this is an equal to, this sign coming over becomes a minus sign. So we having y is equal to 3 minus 3 over 5x. Or we can also say y is equal to minus 3 over 5x plus 3. Okay, so that our constant is the other way. Now the formula for gradient using a straight line, the format is y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, that is our gradient which is our m. It's the coefficient of our x when y is subject of the formula. Okay, the coefficient of x. The coefficient means the number multiplying x. From what you can see here, the number multiplying x is minus 3 over 5. Therefore, our m is equal to minus 3 over 5. Alright? So this is our gradient. This is the formula when we have a straight line equation, a straight line function. So quickly, I'll take one more example and then we'll... Alright, so for our second example, we'll be looking at 2y is equal to 4x minus 6. Okay? This is another straight line function and we are asked to find the gradient. Like I said in our previous video, our gradient for a straight line function, for a straight line function, the format is y is equal to mx plus c. The m here means our gradient, okay? This is our y, the y that we usually know as the x. But this m here refers to our gradient or slope, okay? Alright, so now given this, let's continue solving. Like I said, 
the gradient is the coefficient of our x when y is subject of the formula. Now, y is standing alone. So how do we make y subject? We have to divide through by 2. Okay? So we are going to divide 2y over 2 because that's the coefficient of y. We are dividing through by 2. 4x over 2 minus 6 over 2. Alright? So when we divide that, we'll be having y is equal to 2x minus 3. Like I said, this is our format. The coefficient of our x when y is subject of the formula. Now here our y is subject of the formula. So our gradient is simply what? 2. Are we together? So this is how we determine gradient when giving a straight line function. Now the next work we're going to be doing is how to determine our gradient when we are giving two points. When we are giving two points, how can we determine our gradient? Okay? Right, so we are looking at our second part now, which is how we can determine our gradient giving two points. Like I said, in this video, we'll only be looking at two aspects of gradient, okay? Subsequently, we'll, we'll post a video on how to determine our gradient when giving a point and a parallel line, and as well as when giving a point and a perpendicular line, okay? So now, when giving two points, as long as we have a graph of this nature, okay? And this is our y axis. This is our x axis, alright? And for point A, we have that y is 5 and our x is 1, alright? So, assume that this is our point A, alright? And then, we have for point B, that our y is 4 and our x is 2. And this is what we have, this is our point B. And this is our slope, alright? Let's assume this is our slope given. And we are asked to determine the gradient of the graph. Alright? We are asked to determine the gradient or the slope of this graph. Now, like I said, gradient has to do with the rate of change in our longitude and latitude. That is, in our y and x axis. Okay? Y and x, not x and y. So, in this format, like when I said in our straight line function, our gradient is equal to y is equal to mx plus c. That's the format while our gradient is m. Okay? Now, in this format, when we are giving two points, our gradient formula is m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Your y2 is, is your y factor for your b. Your y1 is your y factor for your a. Your x2 is your x factor for b. And your x1 is x factor for a. So we can quickly copy this out. I will be writing it here for A. We have that our Y, okay, X will come first. Our X is 1 and our Y is 5, okay? This is for our point A. And for our point B, we have that here our X is 2 and our Y is 4, all right? This is how it looks like when we are presenting it. In many questions, this is how it is being presented. And then we are asked to find the gradient. Now, since this is point A, meaning this is our X1, this is our Y1, okay? And this is our X2 and our Y2. So when I give this format, it's just very easy, meaning we are substituting and our Y2 from here very clearly is 4. Our Y1 from here is 5. Our X2 is 2 and our X1 is 1, okay? So we'll be substituting all that here to determine our gradient, which will be equal to what? Y2 is 4 minus our Y1 is 5 over what? Our X2 is 2 and our X1 is 1. Alright, so this is our gradient function. We are going to solve that. We will be having that our M is equal to 4 minus 5 is minus 1 over 2 minus 1 is 1. So our gradient is minus 1. Are we together? This is how we solve gradient when we are given two points. Now I'll take another example on and that I'll no longer be giving us a graph. I'll just use this format, okay? And then we'll see how we can determine our gradient from it. Alright, so for our second example, we'll be taking a point, we'll be taking the point directly. Now we're given that our A was 3, 5, and point B, we're given 6 and minus 6. Okay? Now we're given these two points and we are asked to determine the gradient. 
of this given point. Like I said, a uh, gradient when we are given point is m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so quickly let's determine our x1, x2, and y1, y2 quickly. So since this are this is our a, this is our point a. So this is our x1, this is our y1, this is our point b, this is our x2 and our y2. Okay, so we'll just substitute quickly to determine the gradient. Alright, so our m is equal to y2 is minus 6, y1 is 5. Alright, our x2 is 6 and our x1 is 3. So our m is equal to minus 6 minus 5 is minus 11 over 6 minus 3 is 3. So our gradient, since we cannot divide further, this is our gradient for these two given points. Okay, for our next video, I'll be showing us how we can determine equations of a straight line when giving a gradient or when giving points a uh, straight line and all that. We can also determine the equation of a straight line, okay? So please, if you've watched this video, you've loved this, please subscribe to this channel like this video share with your friends those who you feel will be blessed or will be helped by this video please do that to share with them see you in our next class